He was born in the Dutch Republic and baptized in November 1640. He embarked on voyages to Novaya Zemlya and discovered Jelmerland. He joined the Dutch East India Company and led an expedition in search of a lost VOC capital ship. His name is Willem de Vlaming. Willem de Vlaming, a renowned explorer, was born on November 28, 1640, in Oostvleiland, in the Dutch Republic. He embarked on a life of adventure and discovery, leaving an indelible mark on the history of exploration. De Vlaming's early years were spent honing his skills as a skipper in whaling, residing on the island of Vlaland. In 1664, de Vlaming set sail to Novaya Zemlya, where he made a remarkable discovery, the land of Jelmerland. This expedition showcased his navigational expertise and set the stage for his future explorations. In 1687, de Vlaming and his wife made a significant decision, selling their residence in the Jordan. In 1688, de Vlaming joined the prestigious Dutch East India Company, embarking on his first voyage to Batavia. His experiences and knowledge gained during this journey laid the foundation for his subsequent explorations. In 1694, at the request of Nikolai Witsen, de Vlaming led an expedition to search for the Ritterschap van Holland, a VOC capital ship that had gone missing with 325 passengers and crew on board, en route to Batavia. The VOC officials believed that the ship may have run aground on the western coast of Australia. De Vlaming's expedition to Australia in search of the lost ship was significant. It brought him to the shores of the magnificent continent, where he made important discoveries. Among his notable findings was the sighting of Rotnest Island and Dirk Hartog Island, which he named after himself and fellow explorer Dirk Hartog, respectively. He also explored the Geelvink Channel and made significant contributions to the mapping of the Australian coastline. Willem de Vlaeminga's expeditions and discoveries had a profound impact on the world. His exploration of the western coast of Australia added to the growing body of knowledge about the continent and its geographical features. His contributions to cartography and navigation were invaluable, paving the way for future explorers and traders. De Vlaeminga's legacy as a visionary explorer continues to inspire and captivate the hearts of adventurers and historians alike. Willem de Vlaeming, a Dutch explorer, led a rescue mission to Australia's west coast in 1696. Commanding three ships, the expedition set sail from Texel, Dutch Republic, on May 3. After stopping at Tristan de Cunha and Cape of Good Hope, they sailed towards the Dutch East Indies. Despite searching Al St. Paul and Al Amsterdam, no wreckage or survivors were found. On December 29, 1696, de Vlaeminga's party landed on Rotnest Island, which he described as a paradise. They then ventured up the Swan River, becoming the first Europeans to do so and observing black swans. On February 4, 1697, de Vlaeming landed at Dirk Hartog Island, replacing a pewter plate left by Dirk Hartog in 1616. The return fleet arrived in Amsterdam on August 16, 1698, although it is uncertain if de Vlaeming was still alive. His exploration contributed to the knowledge of Australia's west coast. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.